who are you? <laughs> Where did you come from? I just want to make people laugh, and yeah. I, I, you know, I just I wanted to add something. You're still not answering my question. <laughs> I know you're a model. <laughs> Doesn't would, matter what I say. I would like. I don't. I don't explain myself. Do you. <laughs> can we just? Can I share with you something I did? Yeah. I've been talking about <laughs> talking and hanging out and doing something forever. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have a great time. Oh, we're, we're gonna, gonna have a great range. time. What's really funny is like I always research very heavily before I do an interview with someone. Mm -hmm. And to that end, mm -hmm. I also realized that you don't love doing interviews. <laughs> So now I feel bad on top of feeling unprepared. Um, it's funny when you mention that. The irony is I do interviews. I'm here with Bulk. Uh, what do you think of Power Slap? Pretty brutal. I'll leave it at that. They're so, they're like, I'm on the other side. Yeah. I'm asking the questions and they're yeah. usually really stupid. Why do people call you the Geico caveman? I'm like a really introverted person. And so when the roles are kind of switched, I, I'm like, oh, I don't, I don't really want to talk. I don't want to say anything. I don't want to be in front of the camera because yeah. I, I'm so introverted and people think I'm like this extroverted, outgoing well, person. You seem like it. There will be times when like I really go inward and then I just like teleport in my brain somewhere else and people are like, where did you go? It's like your avatar <laughs> shuts down, your avatar shuts down and you're just like in a pod. Yeah. And, you're and I'm stuff. like I'm like traveling through space and time and I'm like gripping onto stuff and people are like, you know, relax. So thank you for having well, me. Well I appreciate yeah. it. And extra because it's not your favorite thing to do. But I the moment that I was exposed to you, I was like, I need, exposed. that's a weird way to phrase that. I feel like everyone got exposed, <laughs> the moment that I exposed to, to, to you. Me. The moment that I saw you for the first time, I was like, I need to get to know this girl. So part of the reason I wanted to do this today is because I feel like no one knows anything about you. Maybe that's by design, but we're going to change that today. So start at the beginning. Like, what's your origin story? Like, you don't have to say everything, but like, wh who are you? Where did you come from? Oh, uh, okay, my origin story. I think I think it is by design that I I'd rather people just make up stuff about me on the internet because um, I'd rather them just not know anything about me. Yeah, and like then, a little um, bit of mystery. Yeah, because they're gonna they're gonna form their own narrative about me anyway. So before my origin story. Yeah, you're still not answering my question. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you come from? I know you were a model. <laughs> yeah, it was and a lot. not just like oh I'm a model. You were like an actual model mm -hmm. on many many magazine covers. But yeah, my origin story. My origin story. I, when I was born, I hit my head on my mom's vagina. Oh, yeah, happens. And I was incubated for 10 days. That's it? It explains a lot. Fast <laughs> 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 right. forward to modeling. So that's my the origin natural, story. The natural career of someone <clears throat> who was. Yeah. Yeah. And then my origin story. So I'm from New York, Italian descent. French There's a Italian lot of descent. debate about that too online, by the way. Yeah, because everyone thinks I'm Mexican. I I saw that you were Indian. I saw oh, yeah, that Indian. you were Mexican. I saw Arab. that you were Arab. Mm -hmm. Brazilian. Brazi yeah. We I get are it. the world. Dude, I'll do it. I'll, yeah. I'm all of it. Doesn't would, matter what I say. I would like. To I don't. I don't explain <laughs> myself. <Do> you. <laughs> um, so sorry. can we just? Can I share with you? something I did yeah that explains why my forehead kept growing so my DMs were full full one day of just like dude your forehead is growing it's like you're you have a receding hairline but but here's the thing it was growing and I no, couldn't it's figure not. it out and I kept asking my, my man I was like yo are my eyebrows sinking like are they falling down my face and he's like what the f are you talking about and I was like it's getting bigger by the day so I was dermaplaning with a razor, yeah. and I was taking all my peach hair constantly, and I was like, you know what, let me just do my hairline and make it nice <gasps> and straight. And for months, I was shaving. You tried to tight line yourself? I tried to give myself a fade, <laughs> or whatever it's called. <laughs> I I so I tried to shape up my forehead, and in doing so, every time I went to do it, I was taking more and more hair off the whole, the whole thing. Yeah. I you told you, great. I hit my head you look great. on my mom's vagina. But I might I win. Born. But I might win now that you've been. Well, now I'm on my hair journey. Back, I've been like, growing, I took my back. weave out and I'm trying to get my hair right and I've been taking all my supplements. So I got some baby hairs, but that's why I was getting bigger. Your hairline looks great. Your hairline looks, looks great too. Okay. Yeah. So 
<laughs> How did you transition from modeling to the content creation stuff? I want to say about five years ago, we left New York. So we came out, I, I, you know, I was still modeling and stuff, but then uh, maybe a year later, COVID hit and the entire industry changed. Yeah. You know, our agencies wanted us to post a lot of our work and stuff like that, so. But I was less of a high fashion model, mm -hmm. uh, and I was beauty model. I also did editorials here and there, but um, here and there we would do like some funny videos together and stuff. Okay. Just, we just made like really funny videos yeah. together. We kind of, during COVID, we were kind of like, well, we're home, let's just keep creating stuff. Yeah. Um, that's when we started really diving into social media and seeing what we could sort of pull out of that. And we did, I, it just turned into like a full-time thing for me. I had a really great career with modeling, but I, I want to say it feels not very satiating, mm -hmm. and I just didn't like promoting myself. Yeah. Um, I just wasn't also, it just didn't make me happy. I did it for so long because it was, it was great, it was lucrative, and I was able to support myself, my family, and I didn't want to be ungrateful for, for that opportunity, mm -hmm. and I think that's why I stuck with it for over a decade. But you know, after a while, I was just like, you get to a certain point, and you're like, okay, what, and what? Yeah. You know, I, I spent so much time, and like, I, I don't really like taking pictures. I don't really like being in front of the camera like that. I just want to make people laugh, and yeah. I, I, you know, I just, I wanted to add something. I didn't need to prove to people that I had such a lucrative career. I was like, I'm, I'm really, I'm just, I'm done. It was great. So I, at the height of my career is when I actually left. Really? Yeah. You could be did. I was done. <laughs> You're like, I'm yeah, because we, we I'm at the top. Yeah, deuces. I was I love that I, for you. I was like, I don't want to keep chasing. Well, yeah. I love that that we benefited from that, and that you are did now you? taking did, over. Did we? we did. No, we absolutely. <laughs> you are now taking over the MMA world, and I feel like it's really, really nice to have another woman in what could sometimes feel like a little bit of a boys' club. You know, I did Muay Thai, I did karate for years growing up. Um, and then I, you know, used to co-own a boxing gym, yeah. so it's like I... She co-owned a boxing gym. Give the, put some <laughs> respect on so, this woman's name. Well, you know, it, it's... I just... F*** them. You know, I know. F*** them all. I want them to know you! <laughs> I very much appreciate you. Thank you so much. I very much appreciate you, too. I know it's not your favorite thing, but it was really fun getting to know you a little bit more and not just, like making all sorts of wild assumptions about you like the rest of the internet does. My origin story. Yes. Not many people know my origin story or believe it. Well, there, we've got it now, so thank you. I appreciate you. You're welcome. For MMA interviews, breakdowns, and industry news, subscribe to One on One today. One on One, the home to all things MMA, powered by Bet365.